Hi, my name is Gurnik Singh, mortgage consultant with Verico Mortgage Pal, and today we're going to talk about the Bank of Canada rate cut. So Bank of Canada announced a third consecutive rate cut, and this was very expected by both economists and uh, industry professionals. Canadian GDP has been pretty underwhelming. Um, unemployment is at 6.4% when it should be lower, and most of this is driven by the youth and newcomers to Canada struggling to find employment. Um, rent prices are high, mortgage payments are high, which is negatively affecting consumer spending. The July Consumer Price Index, CPI, uh, confirmed that inflation is starting to cool. So we'll likely see Bank of Canada shift their efforts into economic growth, and that will hopefully promote a continued downwards trend in borrowing costs. We'll see adjustable rates and variable rates having the biggest impact. Um, anybody who has an adjustable rate will see their mortgage payment uh, come down and those with variable rates will see more of their payments go towards the principal balance rather than the interest. For fixed rate mortgages, um, this is primarily driven by the Canadian government bond yield. So the Bank of Canada overnight lending rate doesn't have a direct impact on what happens to the fixed rates. However, whatever happens with the bond yield is a good indication. For example, if we're seeing bond yields start to trend down, this means that fixed rates will likely start to follow. For those looking to maybe buy a new home, uh, upsize or downsize, um, definitely have a pre-planned budget. Um, knowing your mortgage payments, your property taxes, your insurance costs, heating costs, as well as any potential strata fees is super important and getting a mortgage pre-approval is a really, really good first step because that'll help you put that budget together. For investors, um, I highly recommend exercising caution. We saw, especially recently, a lot of people who purchased pre-sales lost a lot of equity value. Um, so a lot of people lost money making investments into pre-sales. So for any investors who are still looking to purchase, consider your long-term goals, don't time the market, and invest with intent, with an objective in mind. For somebody who is looking, who, who really needs um, a place, I recommend looking into one now. Um, while there's inventory available, while you're still able to negotiate on home prices, uh, doing it now will be better because even though you may be paying a higher interest rate, um, in the future, if things start to become competitive, you may make more emotional decisions. You may have a lower potential, a lower monthly payment, but if people are bidding on properties, you likely won't. You'll likely have a higher monthly payment. For those looking to renew or refinance their mortgage, I recommend contacting a mortgage professional. Generally, your current lender won't give you the best option upfront, so it's important to speak to a professional who will help shop for the best terms and solutions for you and give you the best deal upfront rather than making you do all the heavy lifting. That's it for the update for today. If you have any questions about mortgages or are looking to get into the market, my information will be below. I'll feel free to get in touch.